Come on, man. Don't do that. That's our crane. Sir, that's not the war in Ukraine. You're watching a video game streamer. That's one knockout for me. Woodchuck the gray squirrel. Woodchuck the gray squirrel. We have a situation. I have some disinformation. Uh, can we get Jankowicz on the line, please? Uh, MSNBC. Yeah, these nerds are saying <laughs> every time they see a video game clip, uh, <laughs> they think it's uh, the Ukraine war. So, uh, hello? Hello? How's this thing work? They must have hung up. <laughs> these idiots. They. <laughs> this time it's really good. This time it's juicy. You have a retired four-star general who sees a clip from the video game Arma <laughs> and thinks it's a Russian MiG being shot down by, uh, let's see, where's, where's it at? Clip of video game footage, blah, blah, blah. The clip in question came from YouTube short section and is titled Russian MiG-29 gets shot down by air defense system. <laughs> It's got Arma 3 and, you know, anybody knows anything. And you can tell it's a fucking video game. I mean, these people, you don't even say about them anymore. They're so let's get right into it. Look at this. I'm over here on the uh, Gateway Pundit. Another day, another MSNBC analyst shares bizarre fake news from the Ukrainian front. A month ago, this guy Malcolm Nance put on some army gear in his backyard said he was over in Ukraine fighting with his sisters and brothers. <laughs> this turd couldn't run 10 feet with no rucksack. And this thing was totally debunked. Uh, the military experts are like, his entire pack is empty. The clip's not even seated in the weapon. It's just total propaganda. Misinformation. Misinformation. Information laundering is really quite ferocious. It's when a huckster takes some lies and makes them sound precocious. But Come on. Nina, where you at, bitch? Uh, anyway, now MSNBC war expert and retired four-star general Barry McCaffrey mistook a video game for Ukraine war footage. <laughs> Sir, that's not the war in Ukraine. You're watching a video game streamer. <laughs> A fucking four-star general. On Monday, retired four-star general and MSNBC military analyst. <laughs> you were, what? The, you, you know the military is so screwed up right now if they're going to these propaganda outlets. You have a retired general who you would think would be a, 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 a straight shooter. No pun intended. But he can't even tell a video game from real, from real life? Come on. So anyway posted a clip of video game footage to Twitter. Alongside it, he claimed it was a display of strength from UK Ukraine's air defense. It's actually footage from a video game. The clip, the clip in question, like I said, came from uh, <laughs> YouTube Shorts. We'll peek it again. I mean, it's pretty awesome looking, but it's not real, boys. It's not real. And, uh, I mean, I can tell it's not real. I don't know why they couldn't. And it says it right there. Arma 3. Air defense. Arma 3. <laughs> These people are weak. Weak-minded individuals. So there it is. Unbelievable. Benny Johnson on Twitter reported on this war game tweet. <laughs> that it, and exposed that the brilliant Max Boot, who works for WAPO, Washington Post, he retweeted this trash, this fake news, propaganda, misinformation, misinformation with Jenky. I mean, has, he, has uh, Max Boot been uh, banned from Twitter? I doubt it. And now WAPO columnist at Max Boot is amplifying this harmful misinformation. These are the same people who lobby big tech companies to deplatform conservatives over mean tweets and memes. And Dan Caldwell said, and, and of course, the self styled military historian, <laughs> this <laughs> retweet, Max Boot retweeted this uh, old uh, 
<laughs> old dementia. I mean, I guess this guy's in the same shape Biden's in if he's looking at fucking uh, Arma 3 and thinking it's a uh, real life. Come on, man. Don't do that. That's our crane. What a moron. He's a, these military experts, man, they are whacked. Russian aircraft getting nailed by UKR missile defense. Russians are losing large numbers of attack aircraft. UKR air defense becoming formidable. <laughs> it was uh, Max Boots' tweet, retweet of uh, this, this poor old dude who can't tell a video game from reality. He is so detached from reality. That, that's, you know why? Because he's working for MSNBC. MSDNC. What's the deal with the fake news pushing the war story that Ukraine is winning over Russia? They use video games and dress up in military gear to make their point. This is seriously dangerous fake news. There you have it, folks. You can't make this shit up. These people are retarded. They think that video games are real. And then you got Tubby here dressing up in some army clothes telling us that he's over in Ukraine fighting. <laughs> come, come on. And then you got Pelosi and, and uh, Turtle <laughs> going over there. And uh, nobody seems stressed. They're all smiling and you don't see nothing going on. Big photo op. It's all fake news. Come on. They, the whole thing is a scam. And they're pushing it down our throats. Anyway, who's guilty of misinformation? Looks like lamestream media is guilty of misinformation. Once again. <laughs> These guys need to. Uh, <laughs> these guys need to quit watching the shorts on YouTube because uh, they keep going. Wow, that that looks real, <laughs> you idiots. Anyway, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in and uh, <laughs> be aware of your surroundings at all times. Cause shit be popping off out here. Peace, peace out. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international under pressure. True and international effort to pressure. What kind of country we're going to be? Four more years of George, uh, George, uh, he uh, is going to find our. Thank you.